अशाच प्रकारच्या दर्जेदार व्हिडिओ पाहण्यासाठी आमच्या चॅनलला सबस्क्राईब करा आणि नोटिफिकेशन मिळवण्यासाठी बेल बटनला प्रेस करा हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम प्रमोद देशकरी अँड वील गोईंग टू डिस डिस्कस द अॅनालिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ एम पी एस सी क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स्टी वन वॉट इज द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ करंट फ्लोईंग थ्रू द सिक्स ओहम रेजिस्टर दॅट इज नथिंग बट द आर फोर तो टू डिटर्मिन दिस पर्टिक्युलर पार्ट वी कॅन यूज अ थेवनिन्स कन्सेप्ट and according to that particular part the load current that is here the current i is nothing but the theonin's voltage vth divided by the specific resistance rth theonin's equivalent resistance plus load resistance rl here load resistance rl is nothing but the 6 the first process is nothing but the, to disconnect the load from the circuit to determine the specific value So what is VTH? VTH is nothing but the voltage drop across this terminal, and voltage drop across this terminal is nothing but the voltage drop across eight ohm resistance. So here to determine the this voltage, we must know the current flowing through this particular path. So according to that one, we can determine the specific current. So applying a simple law over here we we'll just have the total voltage so this is nothing but the current i is equal to total voltage that is a 12 volt divided by two resistances are in series so 8 plus 4 that is nothing but the 12 so this is nothing but the ohm so we just have the total current flowing through this is nothing but the 1 ampere now we got the 1 ampere current which is a flowing through this resistance so that's why the vth the theonin's voltage is nothing but this voltage this voltage is nothing but the current flowing through that particular path that is nothing but the 1 ampere current multiplied by this 8 ohm resistance so this is nothing but the 8 volt so we just have the vth 8 volt now the theonin's equivalent resistance to consider the resistance we have to short circuit the voltage so we'll just short circuit this particular resistance and if we just consider this is nothing but the pure passive component that means resistive network so these two resistances are parallel to with each other and this is in series with that particular part so from that calculation so rth when we just solve this particular part we'll just get the total typical value of that resistance and it is nothing but the specific 4 ohm so after simplification of that we get the value of 4 ohm we'll not solve that particular part over here but here rth is nothing but the 4 ohm if we put the value of vth and rth in this equation we get the current flowing through the 6 ohm resistance is nothing but the total vth that is the 8 divided by rth that is nothing but the 4 plus rl here load resistor is nothing but the 6 ohm so this is nothing but the 6 so this is a 8 by 10 and this is a 0.8 this is the answer key for that so this is nothing but the specific first question which is analytical part of that one and the correct answer for this particular part is nothing but the second this is nothing but the basic idea for the first question now we'll just try for the specific part that is nothing but the 62 in this particular 62 the question is number of equations required to analyze in a given network by a nodal analysis so this is a regarding to the nodal analysis for nodal analysis we always know that the number of specific equations should be one less than the number of nodes the option is nothing but the four for that so this is a specific conceptual part no need of any analytical part the last point is nothing but the specific part the one less than the number of nodes then question number 63 this is according to this particular part there is a some confusion regarding to this particular part because two capacitors are connected in series so this is a c1 and c2 a resultant capacitance is nothing but the c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 so this is a resultant equivalent capacitance in series and what is the question 
the particular question is relates with the maximum energy stored to so maximum energy stored is nothing but the half then c v square if we put the values over here you will get the answer but there is a specific part related to this so definitely you should ask or release or this particular part you can refer from the mpsc keys then third one next particular question 64 this is a question related with the admittance why admittance is always reciprocal of impedance so this is nothing but the particular reciprocal relation between the admittance and the impedance what is given in this particular equation that z bar is given and that is nothing but the specific value 3 plus j4 now what is the specific question that the admittance of this particular part that means y is nothing but the z divided by z mod so here what is z z bar is 3 plus j4 so z is definitely 3 minus j4 divided by the mod of this particular z while calculating this part we use square root of square root of 3 square plus 4 square so if we simplify this is nothing but the 3 minus j4 divided by this is nothing but the 5 if we simplify this particular part so this is a 3 by 5 minus j4 by 5 after simplification you will get the exact answer that is a 0.6 minus j times 0.8 and the unit of this particular admittance is nothing but the mo so this is a specific key for that question number 64 it is given as a four. the next question which of the following three phase system is sometimes also called as a three phase four wire so here the representation is just like this one so these are nothing but the star connected one terminal second terminal and third terminal when there is a neutral terminal drawn outside we get three phase four wire system and it is applicable only for the star network that's why for question number 65 the answer key is nothing but the one that is a three phase star connected next question that is a question number 66 three similar resistors are connected in star across 400 volt and three phase lines the line current is 5 ampere calculate the value of each resistor so that is structure is like this three same value resistors r r and r are connected across a supply that is a three phase supply and voltage is given that means vl is given so this is a line voltage how much line voltage is given line voltage is given is 400 volts so definitely i line current is there but in this case when we use a star connected three phase supply line current is always equal to the phase current and line voltage and phase voltage is different so here phase voltage is line voltage divided by root so if we simplify this by putting this particular value so we get vph if you put that particular value 400 divided by uh, root 3 and in the same manner il is there so value of r is nothing but the phase voltage divided by phase current if you put all this particular value we we'll just have this particular value of r is nothing but the specific 46 0.2 ohm so after simplification and calculation part we get the answer 42.2 and this is nothing but the 66 so this is answer key is nothing but the one after putting all this particular value we will get the idea 
नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन अगेन इट इज अ थियोरटिकल स्पेसिफिक कंसेप्ट इन अ ट्रांसफॉर्मर मैक्सिमम वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन रेगुलेशन इज रिलेट्स विथ द इंड्यूस ई एम एफ एंड एवरेज वोल्टेज दिस इज नथिंग बट द स्पेसिफिक ई टू माइनस वी टू डिवाइड बाई ई टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड this is nothing but the percentage regulation and this is relates with the lagging power factor of the load so this is option 2 lagging power factor of the load question number 68 question number 68 is relates with the losses in transformer the core of a transformer is assembled with a laminated sheet laminated sheets are used to reduce the ed current loss in any transformer that's why the option 2 is correct for this so that is nothing but the reduce the ed current loss so this is option 2 then question number 69 last but one question so again it is somewhat we can say that tricky question that's why you should go for the mpsc side for exact key the last question that is nothing but the question number 70 here what is the question the resistance and reactance resistance and capacitive reactance xc and this is a r so this is nothing but the resistance and capacitive reactance are in series circuit its value is to 7.5 ohm and the value of capacitive reactance is also 7.5 ohm both having the same value rc connected in series so this is nothing but the rc series network and what is that question in this particular circuit what is the relation between current and voltage and what is the lagging angle for that particular part so here if we plot the vector diagram so in this case we know that in rc network circuit in rc network circuit resistance that means particular current always lead voltage and that particular representation is like this if we consider this is a resistance and if we consider this is nothing but the reactance then the resultant is nothing but the impedance z the angle between this resistance and reactance suppose say theta in this particular case if we mention tan theta tan theta relates with the opposite side that is xc divided by the resistance therefore theta is nothing but the tan inverse of xc by r where value is nothing but the 7.5 and 7.5 so tan inverse of 1 is theta therefore theta is nothing but the 45 degree and we know that current always lead the voltage the current lead the voltage by 45 degree the option for that is nothing but the second the so question number 70 second so all these are nothing but the option keys related to the electrical question paper okay it's all thank you अशाच प्रकार दर्जेदार वीडियो पहानेस आम चैनल सब्सक्राइब करा और नोटिफिकेशन मिलने बेल बटन ना प्रेस करा